Hello all, uh, welcome to r and Labs with me Rohant and uh, today I'm going to show you how to add a control to a UI table view controller. You may add a, a UI text field, you may add a UI button, you may add a UI label, whichever control you may like. So uh, how are you going to do it? Uh, we'll see you right here in my tutorial today. Let's get started. <music> So for this tutorial, I have created a project in Swift using storyboards. So what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is I'm going to add two UI text fields. The value of these two UI text fields will be added onto a UI table view control and onto a row. So uh, you may add multiple rows with different values. So I will just show you how it is done. So let's open up the paint.storyboard for this and quickly add UI text fields onto it. I might add two. So this is the first one and this is the second one. Let's add a button to action it. Say we'll rename this to add and that's it. Let's add a UI table view to this. Just maximize it. I'm not paying attention to the uh, UI uh, that bit. I just wanted to show you the functionality. Uh, so after this, we will just add a table view cell to this. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, in order to show the information of these two text fields, we will be needing some control within the prototype cell to be there so for this purpose we will be adding a UI text field again on to the prototype cell so let's maximize it let's add this one too okay uh, the next thing is we will be adding the outlets to the text fields and as well as the control and the table view control so let's bring out my assistant editor and we will just drag the UI text fields onto the view controller. So, uh, so let's say text field one. And text field two. Let's control drag them onto the editor. Text field two. So once we have done. Let's uh, control drag the UI table view control as well. Say table view control. Just name it simply. Uh, so, and uh, in order to action this, we will have to set the action to the button. Say on the click of it. So say and table. Okay. So we are done here. Now, since we have a table view, we will have to confirm to the uh, table view delegate and table view data source. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let, let it add itself. So, Now, uh, in order to add the information onto a table view uh, row, uh, we would need some kind of an array or a data store. In my case, I'll be using a struct just to store the values. So let's use a structure. So say, let's name it as dummy struct. And we will add two variables into it. Text field one. Keep it as string as yes. text field two. Keep it as a string as well. <coughs> okay. So this is for the text field one data, and the other one is for text field two data. Okay, 
Now let's create a variable for the structure. Let's name it as O dummy dummy struct is equal to dummy struct. Close it. Yeah, so this is the object. So now uh, what we are going to do is uh, we will be adding the data to the structure. So on the click of the button, we will populate the structure. So let's say o dummy struct dot add, so append, append dummy struct. Let's open the brackets. We will say uh, text field one dot text. Let us give it an optional value of empty. Uh, this one would be text field two dot text with an optional value of empty. Okay, and after which we will be reloading the table view controller. So let's say table view control dot reload data okay so what it does here is is basically uh, it refreshes the information from the structure okay onto a table view controller so uh, we will go into the table view number of rows in section we will return this to the o return o dummy struct dot count okay To this, uh, we will get on to this section later on. Now, uh, whenever I work with a table view, uh, I actually create a separate class for this purpose uh, it's because it's easier for me to manage it. Uh, so let's say class, uh, we'll make it as make cell, okay? <laughs> uh, make cell UI table view cell. Okay, and we'll keep it up. Uh, we'll keep this for the data part and save it. Now let's go on to our storyboard. And we will set the custom class to uh, the cell. Let's say make cell okay we will we have set the custom class uh, for the prototype cell to be make cell so make cell we have already uh, set up the class over here we have, we have declared the class here right here and uh, this is the prototype cell and the identifiers uh, my cell so let's say my cell okay So we have set up the identifier, my cell, and that's it. So let's drag the UI text field on to the new class that we have created as an outlet. Okay, so let's say proto, okay, we'll name it as prototype uh, text field one, connect. This one would be prototype, prototype text field two. Okay. Uh, so what we have done here in, in the past couple of minutes is uh, we have created a custom class of the type UI table view cell, so that will take care of this section of it, and uh, we have set the uh, custom class to the uh, Prototype cell, and uh, we have set the identifier uh, to the cell as my cell. I set the identifier as my cell, and we have set the custom class as make cell. 
So when you just hover over the outlets, you can see that they are selected. Now um, let's go on to the table view cell for row index part. We will set up the cell first. So let's say select row um, cell is equal to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier for index part. So what was our identifier here? Our identifier was my cell. So let's copy that onto the placeholder and for index path is index path okay and we will have to typecast this to the custom class that we had created uh, so as uh, make set so what this essentially does is uh, it will typecast this cell to make cell so we can access the prototype text fields which are lying within the cell for this class so if you see uh, cell oh, sorry, o cell o cell dot proto type text field one dot text is equal to uh, o dummy struct uh, we need to get the row for that so let's say index part dot row uh, let's say s text field one okay and similarly we'll do it for the other prototype cell as well sorry prototype text field two dot text is equal to o dummy struct index path dot row dot s text field two now we have done this now we can't keep the cell with us, so let's return back. Return O cell. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are making good progress here. Um, we are missing one thing here. Uh, let's add the uh, data source and the delegate to the table view control. So table view control dot uh, delegate is equal to self. Table view control dot data source is equal to set. Okay, so uh, I think we are pretty much there. Uh, let's build and see. No errors. Let's run this on simulator. Okay, so uh, it's in dark mode, excuse me for that. So let's add to, let's add data into the text field. So this is text field one, and this is text field two. And let's see where does this go. Great. Uh, say something else and something else. There you go. Anyhow, you can add uh, the, you can just clear up this uh, data from the text fields. You can play around with these text fields as well. So uh, it's up to you. So that's it. This is how you actually add a, uh, a control to a UI table view controller. And uh, I hope you like this video. In case if you have any doubts, do reach me out on the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel and click the notification button so that you are notified the next time our video comes in. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.